Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear viewers. I am Dr. Muhammad Usman and in today's video we will learn about the definition pathophysiology causes and safety factor of the pulmonary edema. So, as you can see uh, this chest x-ray it shows pulmonary edema which by definition is accumulation of the fluid in the pulmonary interstitial spaces and alveoli. Okay? It is the accumulation of fluid in the pulmonary interstitial spaces and alveoli. So, in order to understand the pathophysiology of the pulmonary edema, we must first understand the formation of the interstitial fluid uh, in the lungs. So, as you can see here, this is the pulmonary capillary, this is the pulmonary interstitium and this is alveolus. So, as everywhere else, the interstitial fluid formation is governed by four starling forces, two inside the capillary and two in the interstitium. Now, the forces, starling forces inside the capillary are pulmonary capillary hydrostatic pressure which is 7 millimeter of mercury here and plasma colloid osmotic pressure which is 28 millimeter of mercury. And the two forces in the interstitium, they are interstitial fluid colloid osmotic pressure which is 14 millimeter of mercury and interstitial fluid hydrostatic pressure which is minus 8 millimeter of mercury. Uh, please note that the minus sign only shows suction here. Okay? Now, the forces which favor the formation of interstitial fluid, they are three in number that is capillary hydrostatic pressure, then interstitial fluid hydrostatic pressure and interstitial fluid colloid osmotic pressure. These will together they will make the total outward force and the only force which opposes the formation of interstitial fluid is plasma colloid osmotic pressure which is 28 millimeter of mercury. So, the net outward force is 14 plus 8 plus 7, 29 millimeter of mercury and from this outward force we will minus the inward force that is 28 which is plasma colloid osmotic pressure. So, 29 minus 28 it makes 1 millimeter of mercury. It means that the net pressure which causes the formation of interstitial fluid in the pulmonary vessels is 1 millimeter of mercury. So, uh, what happens in the pulmonary edema? In pulmonary edema, the interstitial fluid hydrostatic pressure which is normally minus 8 millimeter of mercury, it becomes positive and this positive pressure it causes rupture of alveolar epithelial walls. Okay? It causes rupture of alveolar epithelial walls. So, the fluid accumulates in the alveoli. Now, various causes of uh, pulmonary edema, uh, they are number one, increased pulmonary capillary hydrostatic pressure which is normally 7 millimeter of mercury. Uh, increased uh, capillary hydrostatic pressure may be seen due to left ventricular failure or mitral valve disease. Then, then the next cause is damage to the pulmonary capillary walls and this damage may be caused by inhalation of the toxic gases for example, chlorine or due to infections such as pneumonia. Then the third most common cause is decrease in the osmotic pressure, decrease plasma colloid osmotic pressure uh, which is seen in severe hypoproteinemia. And the fourth is cause is high altitude pulmonary edema. Now, you know at high altitudes uh, there is hypoxia and this hypoxia in pulmonary vessels it causes vasoconstriction. Okay? In systemic vessels the hypoxia causes vasodilation, but in pulmonary vessels the hypoxia causes vasoconstriction. So, this hypoxia induced vasoconstriction it will increase the pressure in the pulmonary capillaries which can lead to lethal edema. Now, let us discuss the safety factor against the pulmonary edema. Now, various experiments in animals have shown that the pulmonary capillary pressure must rise to a value at least equal to the plasma colloid osmotic pressure before pulmonary edema can occur. That is the outward force in the capillary that is pulmonary capillary hydrostatic pressure 
और सेवन मिलीमीटर ऑफ मर्करी इट मस्ट इंक्रीज देन द इनवर्ड फोर्स और प्लाज्मा कोलाइड ऑस्मेटिक प्रेशर ऑफ 28 मिलीमीटर ऑफ मर्करी इन ऑर्डर टू काज एक्यूट अडीमा सो इट मीन्स दैट 28 एट माइनस सेवन ट्वेंटी वन मिलीमीटर ऑफ मर्करी इज द सेफ्टी फैक्टर और पलमोनरी पलमोनरी अडीमा सेफ्टी फैक्टर इट मीन्स दैट कैपिलरी हाइड्रोस्टैटिक प्रेशर मस्ट इंक्रीज अबाउट ट्वेंटी वन मिलीमीटर ऑफ मर्करी टू काज एक्यूट पलमोनरी अडीमा Now a safety factor in chronic conditions. When uh, capillary hydrostatic pressure, okay, capillary hydrostatic pressure, it remains elevated chronically for at least two weeks, then the lungs become even more resistant to pulmonary edema because the lymph vessel they expand greatly, increasing their capability of carrying fluid away from the interstitial spaces. and it they increase their ability to uh, carry this fluid as much as 10 fold than normal so in patients with chronic mitral stenosis capillary hydrostatic pressure of 40 to 45 mm of mercury has also be seen without the development of lethal pulmonary edema thank you for watching today's video please subscribe to this channel Happy learning stay blessed and Allah Hafiz